Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? Black Balloon back with the cat in my lap. I don't know why he always jumps in my lap when I'm about to do a video. But anyway, all right, look, this video is per request, right? About December 21st slash the Great Conjunction, right? All right, and, um, you know, a lot of y'all probably haven't seen videos about it because it's been, like, viral for the... Um, for the past few months, a lot of YouTube channels have been doing videos about it. Um, a lot of people take it way too far. A lot of people, you know, kind of let it go over their head as far as what's actually taking place. You know, um, and I've talked about this in a few videos. You know, I never really said December 21st, but I've, I've talked a lot about um, the shift that's been taking place on the planet. Um, that's been taking place inside of you. You know, which is one of the reasons you're even watching this video in the first place and any other channels or, you know, whatever kind of spiritual seeking you've been doing lately um, is all a part of this shift. Right. So um, uh, I guess the first thing to really touch on is like what people um, how far people take this shit, you know, because you got a lot of people out there that's believing that actually believe that December 21st would be the end of the world because of these <laughs> because of these planets aligning and basically entering aquarius but remember remember we're moving into a new age i don't think you know i'm not i'm not the um uh the the biggest guy with studying all of this stuff especially astrology and all that good stuff but um if i'm not mistaken we will fully enter the age of aquarius around like 2024 you know just a few years away um and right now, the planets that are aligning, they are basically entering the star constellation of Aquarius, right? Um, and um, I think Pluto will enter in 2003 and 2024, something like that, right? So a lot of people actually think, actually believe, you know, and, and, and people are actually saying it, you know, that the world will end December 21st, <laughs> like foolish it's really just foolish at the end of the day you know um because you're you're listening to someone on youtube or whatever whoever you got it from in the first place you're you know you're basing everything that you believe off of off of what another man told you with i i shouldn't have to sit here and even waste my breath you know to tell y'all that the world is not going to end on december 21st you know i'm and i know a lot of y'all a lot of my subs y'all don't believe in that shit um but I'm sure y'all know about it, you know, um, and for the people that maybe, you know, may, may, may have thought about it in that sense, you know, maybe, maybe I need to tell y'all what's, you know, what's really going on, you know what I'm saying, um, in the simplest way, the world is not gonna end, you know, it's like, I, I think we're, we're very far from that, you know, this, all, all this is, is we're entering a new age and we have been for the past couple of years really since 2012 is when it all started december 2012 um is when everything started is when the shift started to make a change and now we're actually getting closer to fully moving into the age of aquarius where all things will be known that's and I talk about this all the time. Y'all y'all hear me go on rants talking about like, you know, how um, the physical world and the spiritual world is basically becoming one and how everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. How, you know, this paradigm that we live in will basically be shattered. And that's really all what is going on, you know, because if you don't if you don't personally change your life. If you don't personally change the things that you're going, you know, that you go through and that you pitch yourself through, or you don't change those decisions that you constantly make that really aren't helping you. Eventually, the universe and God will force you to. And this is basically what this is. This is the earth rising in frequency. And like this is a reset. You know what I'm saying? This is basically going to this is going to destroy everything that basically we've ever known. And especially once Pluto enters into Aquarius, that that is really when like life in itself, as you know, it is kind of going to end, you know, um, that's like anything, you know, we can't as like a human race. We won't always just live not knowing shit, 
being deceived, being tricked, being at the bottom of the fucking barrel, you know, it doesn't last forever. And that's basically what the Great Conjunction is, you know. Um, this is like a massive DNA upgrade, you know, like to, to everybody, you know. This is not, this doesn't just make the people who are like, you know, living right and doing this and doing it because that's how a lot of people put it, you know, in videos, they'll be like, oh, if you're not living right, if you're not doing this, you're not going to go to the new earth. You're going to be left behind. You're going to be struggling and doing this shit and doing that. Well, yeah, that's like, you know, that's the that's the bottom line of it. You should be doing that every single day, you know, not doing that in a sense of preparing to be in a new earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, people people will think like oh you know just because i'm doing this i'm living this way i'm gonna go up into the fifth dimension and i'm gonna live in this earth while everybody else that's not quite on my level they're gonna live in this you know fucked up realm and you know still be in the matrix and all of this shit it's like no that's a that's a mental thing you know that's that's mentally mentally yeah you can pitch yourself on a higher frequency and experience life different than someone else who's continually, you know, who's um, continuing to dwell in bullshit and, you know, the matrix shit and shit that doesn't matter. Yeah, you can do that. That's that's a spiritual and mental thing. But guess what? Y'all are going to exist in the same place still. <laughs> you know, you could be y'all live in the same apartment building. You upstairs, you got a, you know, fifth dimensional mindset and your spirituality is all there. And this dude that stay below you, he he do everything. He damn, he drinking every day, smoking weed every day. But y'all still live in the same apartment building. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like physically, nothing is gonna change. That is spiritually and you know mentally right there. You know, like being in another dimension, the fifth dimension. That's mentally. That's mental. It's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't doesn't change like physically where you're gonna be at. December 21st, you're not just going to zap and be in like a new earth, a new world. No, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily work that way. And you're kind of being misled with these channels that put that into your mind, you know, because then you're like waiting for something to physically happen to your body, which is not going to happen that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, you know, none of us exist outside. The only thing that can exist exist outside of what we live in, which is basically the third dimension, is God. God is the only being that exists outside of time and what we experience, you know, as, you know, our view of life, our third dimensional bodies, what we experience in life, you know. God is the only being and his angels that exist outside of this, you know. So you're not, you're not going to be, you know... You're not going to be a light body here on earth. You're not going to, that's, no, get like, get that out of your head. Physically, you will not go to the fifth dimension. That is, it's a mental and spiritual kind of thing, you know? And, and, and like I said, don't get it wrong. You know, if you, you heighten, you know, your frequency and, and you live that life, yes, you will experience life differently than someone who, you know, just does whatever, but that doesn't change that doesn't change someone that just doesn't even know anything about this shit at all. Because you got to remember, most people that's living like that, you know, they don't they don't care to know about living on a higher frequency or being, you know, having a fifth dimensional mindset. They don't care to know it. It doesn't make them a bad person. They may not do anything bad. You know, most of your parents don't know shit about this shit. And, and they're not bad people. You know, they doing their job. They holding down the family. They doing what they got to do. They living their life. They're not thinking about this shit to that extent because that's not what they grew up on. And that's they, they just don't care about it. You know, this is more people our age in their 20s and their teens and shit, you know, becoming of all of this new knowledge and shit and just kind of like twisting and turning it and making it something of what it's not, you know, um, because you can't. You know, you can't you can't take all of this shit too serious that people are saying, especially when it comes to some shit like the world is ending, you know, like the world, the world is not ending. Like when has there ever been a date where people thought the world was going to end and it actually ended, bro? That's not going to happen. Like, <laughs> you know, and it, it's crazy to even have to come on here and talk about that, because trust me, if the world ever just ended, bro, you would wake up 
and you with it, there wouldn't be no date, bro. It would be some whoa, unexpected kind of shit. Be completely unexpected. You know what I'm saying? If, if the world just ended and just zapped, you know, and, and some huge, like, catastrophic shit happened, you know, um, you, you would never be able to time that, you know? Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's basically, you know, what December 21st is, you know, um, this is, we're, we're pushing into a new age. Um, and this is all, this is all happened before. This is nothing new under the sun. You know, this just signifies a new age in humanity and everything that we